everybody and welcome back to another video today we are doing alternative future of the world part four or five four i think um yeah so i know you guys are gonna be angry but i'm going to have to cut the series short with the after this i mean no i'm not canceling it but i'm not going to be having it much longer I will be doing more videos yes I'll do Empire series all the normal stuff most of the time there will be a good amount span where I do nothing including alternative future of the world and I'm just taking a break because it's not getting a lot of views as it used to and you guys are really liking the my my editing of like the Danish Empire United Korea I think Japanese Empire got the most I think Korean Empire got the most views. I mean, not views, but uh, likes. I mean, you know, United Korea, and I just did Danish one, and Sweden, Norway. Anyways, uh, yeah, I just want to mention, uh, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We're on our way to 500 subs, and then 1,000, so please do, let's get us there, and, um, well, we're gonna hop right into the video. Okay, so, as you guys know, we still have the Freedom League over here, you know, doing their own thing, their thing. And we have the Axis, kinda just Germ Germany's alliance, if you know what I mean. So yeah, sorry about this blaring light in the background over here. There, right there, sorry. Oh uh, yeah, sorry about that. Anyways, uh, yes, we have the Axis puppets, the Mediterranean Pact, which is, well, kind of, remember it lost to the Middle Eastern Pact, which now has, which I think this would be a, all a Turkish and Iranian puppet. Uh, the U reunite Queen slash reunite China, but under better hands, even though they're like, bring back the communist. Uh, no, they they don't agree, but they made an alliance because otherwise they're gonna get their apples kicked. Yeah. So uh, here's this pact right here. It's the reunite unified Queen slash. Reunify China. Sorry, my eye was doing something weird there. Sorry. And the British still haven't joined an alliance, which is kind of funny, but you know, once you say something, you always regret saying it because you know then that's when they join an alliance, and that said alliance is going to be the Freedom League, which kind of makes sense. They have no point not to, and so does Portugal, because British Portugal Alliance, long time. Uh, they were freed, but they also joined the Freedom League. Yeah, so the Freedom League looking very I don't wanna massive. Let's put it that way. I don't want to be that guy, you know. That guy. Uh, yeah, so we have a new war breaking out, and that is with the Freedom League. Uh-oh, someone's gonna die. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. It was actually... Simple, that was simple. I think if we're... If we're talking actuality and stuff, the Freedom League is the quote-unquote strongest right now. I did say right now. Let's get right into the wall, right? Right, might. Okay, let's get right into some war. War. Everyone likes some war. Uh, Freedom League, not necessarily ready. I mean, they were, but you know, they weren't because it's the Freedom League. They don't give a crap. Uh, oh no. Lost half of Papua New Guinea already bolting out in the British Rush. 
uh, yeah, surprisingly. Anyways, the British Raj, like I said, is going to hold a good defensive here. They... The Papua New Guinea got out their butt kicked, and Australia, you're not... You can't invade Australia, sorry. You can, but you can't, so they're gonna kinda just make landings along the coast and say, yeah, we're done. And the emus push back, oh no. The emus are pushing them back. Which, well, they just push the emus back again, but they don't push them back over here because that's emus. You know, the emus put everything in over there. Don't know why. Yep, that's the front in Australia looking like. And I said the British Raj was doing good, and now they're getting beat down, and they're sad. Wham, wham, wham. Yeah, they get beat back about right. Boom. Here. Because mountain. I know I say it a lot, but mountain. It's going to be like my famous phrase. There's going to be one phrase of everything. It's going to be mountain. Now, it's kind of over. And I forgot to call it everything. Why didn't I? This area is not easy to remember. But uh, they were taking over. Sorry. They were in and... What shall I call this battle for Hawaii? The battle that will only be seen once. Yeah, so the Japan Japanese Navy went around and the US Navy blocked. Right? You know how it goes. They No, I'm not gonna do naval work because it's not worth it, but basically ooh, mean Japan. Strong nice you say big USA fleet because Japan's more focused in on destroying the British fleet right now so uh we can just do normal Japanese things and they lose they get obliterated and uh that is going to be the most embarrassing loss they have ever seen or they have ever had and it's not gonna mean anything really uh some pushback in the British Raj doesn't mean much as why would it mean much I mean it's literally a naval battle except it will hurt a little bit and uh, we're already gonna have a little peace conference signed anyways uh, here we are this is what the peace treaty looks like basically Japan just got what they wanted this Papua New Guinea. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, no regrets on doing that. Like, why would I regret that? Flipping my pants. Crap. But yeah, why would I regret? Although, I do. Sometimes you just, just like the video and make it turn blue. Come on, it's not that hard. Well, that's sus. So that hard. Hit that. What? I don't. I said it at the beginning of the video, but hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell and hit the like button. Make it turn blue. Yep, I'm gonna get start doing that. I'm gonna freaking hate myself. But it is fine because it's for you guys' entertainment. I think I'm gonna color it a new purple. Now, we're kind of going to have like a Cold War era, you know, where no one wants to do anything because they're all scared of each other, kind of, not really. Everyone except Germany's alliance, I should say. Everyone is scared of each other. You know. So, uh, yeah. It's kind of just a Cold War looking out. I mean, we have skirmishes on, like, borders. Borders borders. Yeah, I think you saw where I was pointed there. This. This. But, yeah, it's kind of just, uh, gonna be that. I mean, there are gonna be some extra stuff happening, like, maybe, or maybe not, Mongolia leaving this because they want to, same with Tibet leaving this because they're like well we don't want to unify queen anymore and afghanistan leaving i 
Ukraine leaving, which is going to up the tensions, but who gives a crap these countries leave and some join others, not all, most of them don't, and, uh, well, it's kind of just them, and it's an easy, like, well, with these broken up, right, someone kind of wants to attack them, but you know how it is with some of these areas when you attack them. And it doesn't work out too well. But it's kind of, like I said, it's just a Cold War thing until it's not. Until it's not. Wink, wink. If you know what I mean. Until it's not. Which it's not anymore. Arisa Baba. But yeah. Pacifica Alliance de El Pacifica, something like that, has just declared war on Mongolia and Tibet. Now, with Tibet, I think it's kind of going to be easy. Can't do anything to Tibet. It's Tibet. Now, Mongolia is just pure nothing. So they kind of just roll through. I mean, they had support from the Alliance, but not anymore. And you know what? Tibet does the proudest thing, except it's not, and they surrender. But yeah, this is what the borders of Asia look like, and I am mortified. I hate it. Yes, I use the word mortified. No one likes it, I know. Just don't ever contact me again. Also, I'm thinking, um, around September or something, I'm going to do a live stream, I think, just because I kind of want to. Maybe a live stream on this, maybe a live stream, just a talk, like our playlist, a talk, which I could definitely see me doing, and, uh, yeah, so, that was, and that was a fast war, the way how Mongolia just fell, and then the total Taiwan thing, and then we have one more happening, in this part of alternative future of the world and that is Ukraine joining this alliance and the Russians are like no 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 except uh, they can't really do anything about it because no one cares haha -ha, loser now Afghanistan's wanted to join but they make their own alliance which Iran leaves the Middle Eastern Pact and joins that and that's all it is going to be that's all I am going to be doing today as we see border changes in Asia in the area over here and in here over here and just kind of every mainly asia oceania and new alliances being created some old falling and stuff anyways uh yeah well i hope you enjoyed that video don't forget like subscribe hit that notification bell and I will go. I will see you guys next time, which will either be an M yeah, probably an Empire series video, which is fine because I don't really want to too much. But you know, it's fine. I want to entertain. And like I said, alternative future of the world. I'm sorry, it's probably not going to happen for much longer as, I don't really see a point. It'll last longer, yes. I won't be making a video, I should say, for a while. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, make that like button turn blue, and I...